Mm. This just makes my heart happy. I've had this big, beautiful male pearl grommy. Probably a year or two. And he's been my kind of my centerpiece showcase fish for this 55 gallon. And he's a big beautiful boy. Hard to see him with the light not on him there. He's got the shiny metal blue on the sides, you know, deep orange, reddish on the throat and the bottom of the mouth. And I just picked up what I believe are two female pearl grommies. I don't expect to breed them, but I wanted to get him some company. Now overall in the tank, he does have company. There are a number of other fish in here. So down here, uh, corridor catfish, and then there's some honey grommies in the back. So I have three sunset dwarf honey grommies and three fire dwarf honey grommies. But it was pretty heartwarming to see them all. Yeah, they got their little feeler things feeling each other, saying hi, like giving each other high fives, shaking hands, I don't know how it works. But it's cool. They said online that when pearl gouramis are by themselves, they're good, great fish and all that, but they tend to be shy, and mine definitely is. He's the biggest fish in the tank though, so he doesn't have to hide from anything. They do like cover. So I picked up some water lettuce today, and I'm trying to get rid of the duckweeds. The duckweeds, that small stuff, ugh, hate it. And then the water lettuce is that stuff. And that's what I'm hoping will propagate and just spread all over the tank. And then once it fills up this tank, I'm going to take a good culture of it and move it over to my 20-gallon tank in the other room. Do the same idea, have it covered. But it's just so nice to see all the little fishies playing together there. Let's see if we can get to focus. There we go. Big, beautiful boy. Uh, the reason I picked up the females is because it will just encourage good behavior overall, prevent too much aggression. If there's multiple males, they, they'll be more aggressive. So I'm going to try it this way. Mm, see how it goes.